I'm going to teach you how to do a backhanded, two-handed tennis stroke. So what we need to do, we need to start with holding the racket. When we start with holding the racket, we want to make sure our knuckles are on this third bevel. So when we pick up the tennis racket, we're going to look at it and we're going to count this as the first bevel, this is the second, and this is the third. So my right hand is going to be on that because I'm a right-handed player. When I do this, I wrap my hand around, I grip it nice and tight. This is called the continental grip. So I've got lots of flexibility in my wrist, but it's still strong enough. My left hand, on the other hand, is going to be supporting the racket. It's going to be nice and tight. The, my, the back of my palm is going to be right on that handle, and that is the eastern forehand grip with my left hand. So once I've got my grip right, I'm ready to get going. I'm going to take a few steps back. David here, my partner, is going to feed me some balls, and I'm just going to get my stance ready, make sure I'm nice and athletic, and I'm ready to go. As David feeds me the ball, I'm going to step up to the ball, and I'm going to get my body behind it. Now I didn't go quite over, so I'm going to change what I need to do now. I'm going to get my body behind it and really swing through. When I swing through, I want to make sure I rotate my racket so I, the ball goes in the direction I want it to go. David will feed me again, I feel that much better. I get the ball behind so When the ball's right inside me, that's when I need to make contact with the face of the racket. Where the racket's facing is where the ball is going to go. David will feed me again. I stand up and I get my body behind it. I want to make sure I finish over my shoulder so the ball's got a little bit of spin. So I'm going from low to high. David will feed me one more. And they made them all in. So that is how you complete a two-handed backhand swing in tennis.